So you're excited for today's episode? I am. What are we drinking? Blackbeard's Ghost. Huh. You can't drink ghosts. We are today. What's in it? We got apricot brand, Appleton Estate Rum, Plantation Rum, Velvet Falerno. You said it right. <laughs> So the reason why I chose Blackbeard's Ghost is someone recommended it to us on Steve the Bartender Group when I asked them, what are cocktails that you like to have? Velvet Palermo. I looked up that recipe and it looked super interesting. Yeah. Because we did the Saturn and that was gin based and this is rum based. So it's got two ounces of rum, which I'm excited about. It's even got more Velvet Palermo in there, a full ounce. Mm -hmm. And I think the crazy part is the apricot brain. I kind of think that kind of throws a little wrench into it. Yeah. Takes it cozy for a loop. Right. And what's great is it's one of the first bottles we bought is our apricot brand. Yeah. And uh, it's it good. I, yeah. I, I like it. We just don't make it a lot. We don't drink a lot of brand. So right. I think this is definitely interesting for sure. You know, you got fresh orange juice, which is a common in a lot of tropical drinks. And then, you know, the, the rums. We debated a while to what dark rum should we buy. Um, I know some of them recommended like a Demerara rum, uh, black rum. We didn't have a very limited selection, so we went with a rum that we've never had before, the Appleton Estate 12. Yeah, but we also did play a game where the grass is always greener, let's try this other looking so we could have a better collection and then didn't, but then we didn't want to go back, so we just got what we... Yeah. Yeah, so the rum selection here in eastern Iowa slash western Illinois is not the greatest, but... It works for us, again, you know, because we're doing this at home. Right. We're having fun doing it. Right. And we did try the Appleton Estate by itself. It tastes pretty good, I think. Yeah. You know, I mean, let us know if you want us to do a comparison video on the Appleton Estate Rum series. That might be a little fun. Well, I'm excited to try these. What do you think? I'm really excited, and I am even more excited about these Surfside Sip Straws. Yep. Again, they're great colors. Yes. All right. Yeah. That would be very refreshing after you got done mowing the lawn or sitting by the pool. I would have took a sip after I started the lawn mower. I'm like, <laughs> all right, that was a lot of work. <laughs> and when I looked at the recipe, there was no simple syrup. Nope. There was no sweetness. Well, we were afraid. There was no sugar, actual just sugar component. But then we more got to think about it. Ounce and a half of orange juice is pretty sweet. Yep. And then the apricot brain is going to add some sweetness. Yep. And then that dark rum is going to even add a little bit. Right. Too. So that's, in theory, a lot of sweetness going on. Right. I think I might still like some more jot or something in there. It's very juicy right now, mm -hmm. and I kind of want it to be a little bit more complex. I would say, I think the velvet flarum does not shine that much in this one. Like it oh, I taste Saturn. it. You do? Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe I got to reevaluate my palate here. Yeah, it's there. I just definitely taste the apricot and the dark rum. See, I'm getting a lot of dark rum and lemon. Mm. Yeah, lemon too. Um, but yeah, I think a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of added sugar in there somehow would round it out a little bit yeah. more. I know I saw several different recipes for this cocktail. Let us know what recipe you tried with this because I'd be interested. They all look really good. I just picked this one because it had the most booze. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, let's do that one. That is uh, Carl's standard operating procedure is to order the drink that has the highest alcohol content. Like if it's really, really, really hot out and I am outside and I don't want to be outside because I am sweaty, this is what I want. Right. Yeah. I think it's definitely great. Uh, so again, this is going to be Flarenum Week. We hope this is a cocktail that you guys will try. You can check out our first video that we did, the Saturn, which that was a really good cocktail yes. with passion fruit and gin. Our next video, we're going to do... Another cocktail that we've never tried, bourbon-based with velvet flare. So Interesting. Check that out. We're running across all the spirits Thank this week. 